सब्सक्राइब कीजिए धे आई चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए A lot of research work is in progress to tackle with coronavirus. Researchers from various countries are trying out to find out ways and means to protect humans from coming in contact with this deadly virus. Face masks have become an essential tool in fight against coronavirus. Adding to this list, researchers from the City University of Hong Kong have produced graphene masks with an antibacterial efficiency. In today's edition of our DNS, we will be talking about the graphene masks and how is it helpful. Researchers from City University from Hong Kong have come up with a graphene mask. This mask has antibacterial efficiency of about 80%. As per the researchers, it can be raised to almost 100% with exposure to sunlight for 10 minutes. Initial tests showed promising results in the deactivation of two coronavirus species. The findings for this research has been published in ACS Nano. The research was titled Self-Reporting and Photothermally Enhanced Rapid Bacterial Killing on a Laser-Induced Graphene Mask. Commonly used surgical masks are not antibacterial. This may lead to the risk of secondary transmission of bacterial infection when people touch the contaminated surfaces of the used mask or discard them improperly. Moreover, the melt-blown fabrics used as bacterial filters possess an impact on the environment as they are difficult to decompose. Therefore, scientists have been looking for alternative materials to make masks. On the other hand, graphene is known for antibacterial properties. The researchers created a laser-induced form of graphene and tested it on E. coli. It showed antibacterial efficiency of about 82%. Most of the E. coli were dead after 8 hours. The graphene masks are easily produced at low cost. These can help to resolve the problems of sourcing raw materials and disposing of non-biodegradable masks. Initial test on two human coronavirus species has also been done. It showed the graphene inactivated over 90% of the virus in just 5 minutes and almost 100% in 10 minutes under the sunlight. Previous studies suggested that COVID-19 would lose its infectivity at high temperatures. So the team carried out experiments to test if the graphene's photothermal effect can enhance the antibacterial effect. So the result showed that the antibacterial efficiency of the graphene material could be improved to 99.998% within 10 minutes under the sunlight 
while activated carbon fiber and melt blown fabrics only showed an efficiency of 67% and 85% respectively. Their next step is to further enhance the antivirus efficiency and develop a reusable strategy for the mask. The production of laser-induced graphene is described as a green technique. All carbon-containing materials such as cellulose or paper can be converted into graphene using the same technique. The conversion can be carried out under ambient conditions without using chemicals other than the raw materials nor causing pollution. Moreover, the energy consumption is also very low. Producing laser-induced graphene is very easy. Within just one and a half minutes, an area of 100 cm square can be converted into graphene as the outer or inner layer of the mask. Depending on the raw materials for producing the graphene, the price of the laser-induced graphene mask is expected to be between that of a surgical mask and N95 mask. Along with that, by just adding Along with that, by just adjusting laser power, the size of the pores of the graphene material can also be modified so that the breathability can be similar to surgical masks. The team for now is hoping to release it to the market very shortly after designing an optimal structure for the mask and also obtaining the certifications.